We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Bristol Bay is the easternmost arm of the Bering Sea, at 57 degrees to 59 degrees north 157 degrees to 162 degrees west in southwest Alaska. Bristol Bay is 400 kilometers long and 290 kilometers wide at its mouth. Bristol Bay is home to the world's most abundant sockeye salmon fishery as well as strong runs of chum salmon, silver salmon, and king salmon, each occurring seasonally. Like other wild salmon species, sockeye harvests fluctuate but comprise 4 to 7 percent of global salmon production and 13 to 20 percent of native salmon harvests. Bristol Bay is home to the world's largest salmon run. All five eastern Pacific species spawn in the bay's freshwater tributaries. Commercial fisheries include the world's largest sockeye salmon fishery. The Kvijak drains from Lake Iliamna, which is downstream of the deposit. Along with herring and other fisheries, salmon account for nearly 75% of local jobs. Forty-two percent of the world's harvest of wild salmon and eighty percent of the production of high-value wild salmon species such as sockeye, king, and coho salmon, come from Alaska waters. Salmon is the most valuable commercial fish managed by the state of Alaska and Bristol Bay is Alaska's richest commercial fishery. Set gill nets are illegal throughout the area to fish for salmon. Set nets are anchored on both ends of the net one end on shore above high tide and the opposite end extending perpendicular to the shore and anchored in the water. Set nets must be staked and buoyed. By regulation net lengths are restricted to 10 or 25 fathoms and the legal distance between nets is 100, 300 or 450 feet depending on the fishing location. In some limited areas drift gill nets, beach seines, spears and dip nets are legal.
There are several different types of processors in Alaska, the most common of which are fresh frozen plants and salmon canneries. There are relatively few actual canneries in Alaska anymore. While the term salmon cannery is still widely used, very few processing plants actually can fish. At Wild for Salmon, you will find almost all of our seafood products are once frozen, or flash frozen shortly after catch. Our salmon and wild seafood products are carefully handled, chilled and frozen within hours of harvest in order to offer peak preservation of flavor, texture, color and nutritional content. Much of that product is shipped to market in Seattle and elsewhere in freezer containers, and a shortage of vents may soon limit how many fish can be harvested. The Bristol Bay harvest typically peaks in early July. This year, two weeks into July, the harvest has continued strong, 